Hi guys, welcome back to HAG Studios. Today I'm at Orange Park in St. Thomas, the home of the late Barrington Watson, one of Jamaica's master painters. We're gonna tour the home, which is filled with antiques and art, just a beautiful place for you to see. We're also gonna look at the grounds, so come with me. Barrington Watson is considered one of Jamaica's master artists. His home tells the story of his life and stands as a monument to his outstanding contribution to the art world, both local and international. Orange Park was a great house built in the early 1800s. The 500-acre property was then used for the growing of pimento and coffee, as well as for cattle rearing. Watson passed in 2016, and his widow, Doreen Watson, has the task of maintaining and protecting this legacy. She takes us on a tour of this impressive home, one which has been bequeathed to the people of Jamaica. But by the time Barrington found this place in 1968, it was 13 and a half acres. He bought it, he lived there, he worked here, and the artists, his friends and families, art lovers, Edna Manley, Parbo Singh, Carl Abrams, they would meet, chat, quarrel. So much <laughs> so one day, even Parbo Singh had a quarrel mm -hmm. about um, politics. And he said, man, you chat so much, go and paint it. <laughs> and he paints a painting that have the different um, heads of the ministers. Mm -hmm. Like, I think they said Winston Hill was the pig. And then <laughs> all of them were in animal form and they mm -hmm. were eating from the trough from the from a <laughs> cutting from another animal on the table orange park has this effect on persons when you come you don't want to leave no matter how you call and say i'm just gonna stop in for half an hour mm -hmm. just to say hi and thing evening come or night come or tomorrow before you say no i have really have to go so at the time parvacing came for a weekend Seven months later. <laughs> pushing it. Yes. I was saying the weekend done, you know. They, they were, were good friends. Yes, they, they were, were very, good. very good friends. So in 1991, for Barrington's 60th birthday, he decided that he want Jamaica, he want people to enjoy this place. He didn't want it just be close friends and relatives to come. So he donated, donated this property to the country in trust. And at the time, P.J. Patterson, the Prime Minister, he accepted the gift. And by 1994, it was you now a national heritage site. The interior is impressive with a wide collection of antique pieces and art covered walls, mostly the work of the master himself. Yet the rooms, rather than appearing stuffy, give off an aura of a relaxed lifestyle. Concrete floors throughout lend to this. His paintings are vibrant and stimulating, pulling you in. A large portrait of Bob Marley. Another of a group of performers in colorful bandana dresses. A self-portrait and a portrait of his father. Over here, 
there's a portrait of Barnton's father. Okay. Vivian Watson. Very well, distinguished. Yes. Vivian <laughs> Watson is a pharmacist. Five boys, no girls. And he outlined who's supposed to be a doctor, who's supposed to be a lawyer, who's supposed <laughs> to be a pastor. And Barrington was supposed to be the lawyer. And um, he saved his money and went off to go to art school in England. So he studied at the Royal College of Art in London. His father wasn't pleased because he said, um, I don't see good coming out of somebody doing art. Oh, you're going to feed your family. You need to do something. So he said, look, if you spend your money and send me to, art, to law school, when I finish, I'm still going to. So just let me do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. So on his return, he did a portrait. Barrington did all the prime ministers up to, I think he didn't do Portia or Andrew Wallace and Peter Phillips. But all the other prime ministers he did. So on the unveiling for Norman Manley, his father was at the unveiling and just about when it was coming to a close, he said, I have to say something. Mm -hmm. So he got up and he said, I talked to my son, Barry, and I begged him. I wanted him to emulate this man. Mm -hmm. I want him to be like him. And he didn't want to. But today I sit here and I look at the painting that he did of Norman Manley. And I look back at Norman Manley, and I look back at the painting, and I say, but Norman can't do this. <laughs> so he said, you know, you should allow your children to do, to do what, what they, they want, want to, to do. do. And then Barrington said from that, he was crying, and he said to himself, you know, do what you have to do. Do it well, and you make time to do what you want to do. The living room flows freely into the dining room where spindle chairs of varied pedigree add a natural warmth to the space. A large collection of blue and white china sits comfortably on a hutch in rich wood tones. Complementing the dinnerware on one of two dining tables. Watson's mother watches lovingly over this room in her portrait. Doreen tells us more. It took him two years to paint. Wow. Reason B, his mommy get dressed every Thursday and he didn't know how to tell her it was finished. So for two years, she would dress, she would sit in the rocking chair, they would be talking about everything and he would be there just doing <laughs> little touching yeah. until she got tired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Artists are born, not made. In Watson's words, painting for me is more than an occupation. It's a compulsion. I want to paint and I have to paint. Doreen speaks a bit about his formative years. He played the piano when he was in school. Oh. But he, he loved it, but he said the teacher used to he no, got his and he yeah. didn't want anything to stop him from being able. Oh. Yes, because when he was about three or four years old, mm. um, at school they gave him a plaster scene to create something. Mm. And he said he was the only child whose chicken could stand up. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he saw the chicken stand up and he was very pleased and waiting for the teacher to come, and look at it, the other boy beside him. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> he said he cried for about three days. Can't oh. get over. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> one, and he had a lisp at the time, so he said he would go to his mom. I want my plaster feet foul. <laughs> <laughs> And over 
there is a painting called The Blessed Dead. That's his other favorite piece. So The Blessed Dead, he had a dream. So it's a French Impressionist where you have Monet, Degas, Manet, Renoir, and Cesar. Oh, okay. Saying to him that, you know, carry on, you're doing okay. Mm -hmm. And from mm. that, he did a book called Shades of Grey in 1998 with um, 12 short stories. This tour is of a museum with a laid back feel. It's on the second floor that the bedrooms are located. The decorative style is carried here with antique four poster beds with intricate carvings and other exquisite furnishings. The attic carries a spacious bedroom with twin beds and book-filled bookcases and beautiful accessories. From this room, one can enjoy a clear and spectacular view of the Yalas Pond and the Caribbean Sea beyond. Watson was well known for his paintings of nudes and he particularly enjoyed painting women. It's a subtlety, he said. The curvilinear movements are difficult, not just in the figure, but in their heads as well. Several of his famous nudes hang on the stairwell walls as well as in the bedrooms. Watson's studio is a spacious space where time stands still. His brushes, paints, tools, and unfinished pieces remain as if awaiting his return. It's a place which leaves you in awe. The exterior of the house is impressive with sturdy cut stone walls surrounded by wide expanses of lawn and colorful landscaping. Who may want to stay for a while, there are two quaint cottages available for short term rental. Barrington Watson had always wanted to remain at Orange Park. In 2018, Doreen oversaw the completion of a monument set with a clear view of the Blue Mountains, which he loved. Designed by architect Herbert Bradford, an obelisk holding Watson's ashes takes center stage.
I'm sitting here with Doreen Watson, widow of the late Barrington Watson. And she has a task, which she seems to enjoy, of preserving this legacy. What is it like, Doreen, to be given that task of preserving this legacy? It's a pleasure that I enjoy mm -hmm. living in this space. Yeah. Living amongst nature, uh -huh. art, music, a lot of um, antique furniture. Yes. Yes. Just yes. is almost like a piece in history. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. So you have tours here. Mm -hmm. um, and first of all, the, 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 the whole property was donated to the Jamaican, Jamaican people, people. Yes. with what purpose in mind? Barrington want this place to be a place where artists and art lovers and these people just come and enjoy, learn about art uh -huh. and artists in residence. Just a vibrant place where people can yes. really come and find a good place and space where so you just can be just away relax. from the maddening crowd. Yes. Because yes. this is really high up and away. Yes. But it takes a little effort to get here. Mm -hmm. But when you get here, it's so beautiful. It is. Um, you have a lot of weddings, a lot of events here. Yes, we have events. We have um, weddings, birthday mm -hmm. parties, anniversaries, um, the churches for their women's retreat or yes. just a day out. Um, they brunches. will come here. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, we, my group here today, we had brunch and the brunch was fabulous. Thank the you. presentation was excellent. The Thank food was excellent and the service. And we were amazed at how much, that, how much it is that you do. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, you have a lot of tours in like students who come here? Yeah, a lot of teachers um, bring, bring their, their students. Their art students and they love it. Yeah. Yes. Because uh -huh. Barrington Watson is on the, the curriculum. Yes, the he's CXC. on the CXC curriculum. Yeah. So they come, they get um, projects. Yes. So the parents would take them up. Can you imagine and, um, that? And they read and go into his studio. Uh -huh. And they would call back to say, guess what? 95%. Oh, yes, that's so yes. nice. I had a student from St. Andrew High School the uh -huh. other day. Yes, she came and she was in awe. Oh. And she called back to say her grade was 95%. Oh, great. Yes. I yes. remember when I was studying art in school, I had to study, Amer um, not American, European artists for the mm -hmm. most part. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what it feels like for a student today yes. to have a Jamaican artist where they can visit the home, see the art, see his studio, which yes. is fabulous. Yes, yes. And just... It's like that connection, which we would not have felt, mm -hmm. but to have that direct connection. Yes, it's a good feeling. It's a good yes. feeling. Learn about yeah. your people and to see where they live and to walk in his studio, mm -hmm. look at his work. Yes. 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 And there are even pieces in the studio which were unfinished, left unfinished. Yes, yes. Those so, pieces he was working on in 2016 before he when, passed. When he passed yes, in he 2016. Yes, he started those in 2015. He passed January 2016. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for mm -hmm. you to live here in the midst of all this art mm -hmm. and beautiful pieces, just general, just a, such a wonderful place. Yes. What does it feel like to you? It's a this feeling is actually that home. I don't think there's a word that can describe. describe. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to, you have to be in the in the space in the place to really feel. It's it's a feeling. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And only by living in this space and feeling the feel. Mm -hmm. then you can you can know you can know yeah you yes. have to feel it to know it to know it yes yeah yes well thank you as barrington said there's a quote that he said to reach out to art one must be able to feel yes yes, yes. so i think that's that's what i'm experiencing right. every day and it's not the same every day is different uh -huh. yes and you are not a painter 
No. But I see your artist when it comes to the presentation of the food, yes. and yes. Um, just how you carry on uh, uh, when we when you have a tour, for example. Mm -hmm. Um, we enjoyed, our group enjoyed ourselves here. You're most welcome. Um, we, I'm yes. so happy we came. And thanks for coming. Yes. Yes. And it's important that you come here. You need to see this. Yes. So put it on your bucket list and cross it off as soon as possible. Yes. It's an experience. It is. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Okay. Yes. yes.